Hello everybody, welcome back. We're still thinking about the um, theme of perseverance and this week we're thinking about doing the right things. We're going to start with our opening words and I'm going to light the candle. We've gathered in the name of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit to worship together and think about our value of perseverance. So we're going to be learning about someone called Jeremiah, who was a prophet. Prophets are people who listen to God and let others know what God is saying, even when people don't want to hear it. The story of Jeremiah is told in a book in the Bible, which is named after the prophet himself. But we will be hearing the version, especially written or rewritten by Bob Hartman. Jeremiah perseveres. Jeremiah was a prophet. His, God, his job was to pass God's message on to God's people. But because Jeremiah lived at a time when God's people weren't really listening to God or doing what he said, the job was really hard. In fact, you could say it was pants. Jeremiah sent a message to the king, written on a scroll. If you do not change your ways, the message said, God will punish you and let the Bab Babylonians take over our land. What did the king think of that message? He thought, pants. As he read it, he cut it up into pieces and burned them in the fire. Then he sent his soldiers to arrest Jeremiah. God helped Jeremiah. He found him a place to hide. Did Jeremiah give up? Did he stop passing on God's message? No. So when a new king ascended to the throne, Jeremiah passed God's message on to him as well. It's too late now. The message said, the Babylon, ba hang on, I said this right earlier. Babylon, Babylonians will take over our land and they will burn Jerusalem down. What did the king think of that message? He thought it was, you guessed it, pants. And he had Jeremiah beaten and thrown into prison. But the king was worried, worried about the Babylon, Babylon. <laughs> Babylonians, there we go, Babylonians, and worried that Jeremiah might be telling the truth. So he set him free. Did Jeremiah give up? Did he stop passing on God's message? No. He went up and down the streets telling everyone that they should save their lives and leave the city because of what God had said. That the Babylonians were definitely going to capture Jerusalem. Some of the king's officials heard what Jeremiah said and they thought it was pants. So they went to the king and complained and the king told them that they could do anything they wanted to punish Jeremiah. So that's what they did. They arrested Jeremiah and lowered him into a well. There's no water in the well, fortunately, but there's plenty of mud. And as the mud rose past the ankles and his knees and his pants, Jeremiah prayed for help. And God sent an answer. Another official called Ebed Melech heard what had happened and went to tell the king. Again, the king was worried. Worried about the Babylonians and worried that Jeremiah might starve to death down there. So he changed his mind and told Ebed Melech to pull Jeremiah out of the well. Quick as he could, Ebed Melech went to rescue Jeremiah. He found several helpers, but he could find no ropes. There was, however, a pile of rags and some old clothes, so he tied them together. Stripy robes and spotted cloaks, a dress in which to dance, fancy scarves, turbans too, and several pairs of pants. He lowered the string of clothes down to Jeremiah, and Jeremiah said, what's this? So Abed Malek told him, Stripy robes and spotted cloaks, a dress in which to dance, fancy scarves, turbans too, and several pairs of pants. Now tie them under your arms and my friend and my friends, and I will use them like a rope to pull you out. And that's what they did. Up out of the mud rose Jeremiah, then up out of the well and into the light. Did Jeremiah give up? Did he stop passing on God's message? No. He most definitely did not. He stuck to his job. He did the right thing. He was faithful to God. 
and there was nothing pants about that. Okay. I want you to reflect on the story that I've just read and I'll um, give you time to do that so you can pause me and come back to me. What can we learn from this story about perseverance and determination in our own lives? And is there something that you need to pers that you need perseverance and determination to attempt? I'll put the questions up, have a chat, come back to me when you're ready. Okay, within your class you're going to do a piece of meditation. So I'd like your teacher to play a nice calm piece of music. And as you listen to the quiet piece of music, I want you to think about the following questions. What are you going to do next time you find it hard to speak up for what is right? And what are you going to do the next time someone tries to stop you doing the right thing? Come back to me and we'll finish with our prayer. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to finish together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.